Hi guys, welcome to Forge Ahead podcast. This week we're continuing to talk about a man's prayer life, specifically praying with your kids. We need to recognize that Jesus was a man of prayer. Mark 135 tells this about the habit or the practice of Jesus himself. Rising very early in the morning, while it was still dark, he departed and went out to a desolate place, and there he prayed. Luke says this in Luke chapter 5, 35. He would often withdraw to desolate places and pray. And in Luke 6, we have the example of Jesus staying up the entire night to pray and then going the next day to select his disciples. He prayed all night prior to making a very big or very important decision. Jesus was a man of prayer, and we need to be men of prayer as well. And in addition to that, as leaders in our home, we need to teach our children how to pray. Have you ever thought about this, of all the things that the disciples could have gone to Jesus and said, Lord, teach us, fill in the blank. The one thing they came and said was, Lord, teach us how to pray. They saw something about his prayer life that they themselves wanted. And so I want to encourage you to pick up the, the role and responsibility of teaching your children to pray, and there's no better way to do that than modeling it with them. Let me give you a quick idea on something that Shelly and I did with our kids. We would gather with them each night before going to bed, and we would take the day of the week, and we would come up with a topic that matched that day of the week. Now, sometimes we would discuss this at dinner and then pray for it at dinner, but most often it was a bedtime. And here's how it worked for us. We did Missionary Monday. Pray for missionaries on Monday. Talk about where they serve, how they, what their needs are, and what you can pray for those missionaries. Uh, teacher Tuesday, they have teachers. Which teacher do you want to pray for tonight? Wisdom Wednesday. What decisions are you facing? What do you need God to give you wisdom about? And talk with your child, ask questions. Let them talk and share scriptural principles and Bible verses with them related to those things. Thankful Thursday, what are you thankful for today? Let's pray about that. Friend or Family Friday, what friend do you wanna pray for? What family member, what things are going on? How can we pray for them? Saturday was Saved Saturday. Who's someone that you know who doesn't know Christ that we can pray for tonight that they would give their heart and their life to Jesus? And then on Sunday, we did a twofold thing. We talked about sin Sunday. We need to confess our sin. We need to be right with God. Now, we didn't always have our kids pray. It's a little awkward confessing your sins out loud with your mom or dad right there, but we would talk about it and encourage them to pray for that. But then we would use Sunday in our home as Saint Sunday or Someone Sunday. Saint is our Compassion International child, and we would pray for him every Sunday, but you could pick someone else and pray for them on a regular basis on Sunday. That's a plan that we used. You can find your own, but here's the important thing. Get a plan develop it, talk with your wife about it if you're married, and then follow that plan. And if you miss some time, that's okay. Pick back up and continue on. You'll see amazing things begin to happen as you model this and engage in praying with your children. Jesus was a man of prayer. We need to be men of prayer, and we need to model and teach it to our children as well.